Hi, this is Mike Troy of Joshua Revolution. I'm standing here in the beautiful facility of the Warner Theater in downtown Erie, Pennsylvania. The site of Joshua Revolution 23, Revive Us Again. It was back in 1929, in the middle of the Depression, that this facility began to be an idea that would turn into a vision and opened on April 10, 1931, to bring people into a place that would give them hope and give them a vision for what can be. Now, here we are nearly 100 years later, and it will be the location of Revive Us Again. The Bible says in Psalm 85, verse four, turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thy anger towards us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thy anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Coming December 27th through the 29th, right here at the Warner Theater, this is gonna be a place where we're gonna cry out for revival. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Joshua 23 is an event to cry out to God and to ask him to come and to heal our land. We wanna show you just a sneak preview of what's coming right here, December 27th through the 29th. But I'm still here because no weapon formed against me can prosper. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna tell you something, folks. It's not because of who I am, it's whose I am. We are not able to be defeated by the enemy. He cannot take us down as long as we remain in Christ. Don't jump out of the hand of God, saints. Stay in there and let him protect you and keep your life. When the enemy comes in like a flood, he lifts up a bigger flood against him. You can bless your enemy. Whew. Talking about prospering. How about blessing your enemy? It's Jane. He said, Jeremiah, you, I've given you the authority to bless somebody that don't like you, that hates you. That's the authority of the believer. Mm. You're walking in such an identity in Christ that when the people come against you, you're in such a place, in a heavenly place that you say, you can't touch me, I bless you why I believe in being tough is this and I'll tell you what high school was rough but I can stand before you today and say that I have a 22 year old amazing young woman who I can now say is my friend at 22 and I can promise you that if I had been her friend at 15 she would not be my friend at 22 I was willing to go through the pain and at the end of the day parents can I say this to you I will never stand before God and answer for what my children choose to do I will stand before God and answer for what I did. That I actually think sex involves your heart and involves your soul. And there isn't a condom in the world that will ever protect your soul. It's not a game. It's not a recreational sport. It's not hooking up. It's not friends with benefits. It's not all those things that MTV has told you it is. It is the most amazing gift of self and intimacy you will ever give someone. And when it becomes a game, and a recreational sport, it will forever lose its ability to mean, I really love you. That's what this book is for, to point you to him. From Genesis to Revelation, to point you to him. But the way to victory is our dependence, all right? Our daily dependence upon the finished work of Jesus at the cross. I cannot earn my way into a relationship with God. I can't do enough things to uh, warrant the relationship with God because God deals with all of humanity on the basis of grace. His grace is his goodness that has been given to undeserving sinners. Somebody shout, I'm undeserving. Now look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you're undeserving. Now that got all of us out of the way, so should, no one in here should think we're better than anybody, amen. <laughs>
see this is a big theater 2250 seats all waiting to be used December 27th through the 29th and due to the friends of Joshua Revolution this event is completely free of charge all you have to do is go to our website at joshuarevolution.org and register for your free tickets we're believing that God is going to fill the Warner Theater every seat with a hungry and thirsty soul but even more than that He's going to fill it with his presence. So be sure to be with us at Joshua Revolution 23. Revive us again. It's going to be life-changing for your youth, for your family, and for all of the churches that attend this event. We're going to be looking for you.